What's going on, Clutch? What? What up, what up, what up? It's your boy Duck. It's your boy Ross. And we are in the Clutch. Hey. hey. Back at y'all boys with another video, you feel me? Another mukbang, man. A mukbang. Yeah, it's been a minute since we've uh, done a mukbang. Uh, we also have something something different on the screen. What's that? This right here. Ah, the coldest water cooler. Yeah, man. So if you're looking forward to, you know, trying to keep your water cold, ice cold. Freezing cold. And you, you know, maybe you out in the park getting your exercise in since still a lot of gyms and stuff are kind of closed down due to quarantine quarantine this quarantine. will be the perfect thing for you man yes. check it out link will be in the description down below if you want your water to stay cold for a long time ice ice <laughs> yeah little man definitely check them out man it's it's something that i use i, I rock with it it's, it's something that I've actually been looking, like, trying to find something to, like, keep my water cold, and this is the perfect thing. So Yeah, no matter what the situation is, you don't got to worry about your water being the same temperature as outside. Because mm -hmm. we all know how that is. So uh, make sure y'all check it out, man, the coldest water. Link will be down below. You can also go to coldestwater.com slash clutch. You know, go ahead and get you a little promo. You feel me? For but, sure. Uh, yeah, let's get into this mukbang. We already started eating because yeah. the last video wasn't recording the audio, so we had to redo <laughs> it. We did say our grace and all that good yeah, stuff. Yeah, we already did. So. Um, so we were leaving off on Ross. We were talking about whether he was getting the Xbox or the PlayStation. And, and I'm getting both. Because he got money. Nah, it's not that. It's just I'm getting both. I mean, you don't say how much they were going to cost? No matter. I'm getting both. <laughs> A large. <laughs> I'm getting both, so I know it's probably gonna be in the upper 600, 700 range. I'm not gonna get them both at the same time, but yeah, we hear you. I get one. You just might. I get. I'm gonna get the Xbox first. Look at that, man. And then I'm gonna get the PlayStation. There These are is. baked potatoes. Yeah, it don't look like it's baked potatoes, but they're baked potatoes, man. From the baked potato factory. Stuff baked potato factory. If you're in, in Houston, Houston, check them out. If you, they literally make just the craziest baked potatoes. I got the trash can. It's nothing but meat, all assortments of meats and cheeses, and it's it's a trash can. It's a it's just deliciousness. And like, I got the uh, shrimp and crab. Or, I mean, shrimp and crawfish. I want to say. Mm -hmm. So I'm, I'm not even gonna finish this in this video. It's just so much. And this is a small, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. This is not even the largest one they have. This is the smallest one they have. We need stronger forks. Yeah, it will definitely fill you up. So, how yours tasting? It's tasting good? It's your fire. It's fire. That's all I need here. I'm glad I get to smack. <laughs> in the, in the, the camera. Mm. Yeah. Mm. So, yeah. Oh, yeah. So, what you getting? You getting the, the PS5? Yeah, I'm definitely getting the place. I don't know if I'm going to get it as soon as it come out. Because I'm usually one of them wait until... The little kinks and errors get out the way type of guy. So, I don't know. It just depends. I might wait. Yeah, just wait. There's no... I mean, they're not going nowhere. That's the thing. People fail to realize. Pro. They're not going anywhere. It's best to wait on those type of systems. Because, you know, that way they can get the bugs out. Because if y'all remember, I think... What system was? That was like... It was like... Fix. It was like a whole bunch of defects. I don't know. It was probably both of them, PlayStation and the Xbox. There was like a lot of defects when they first came out, like the Xbox 360 and the uh, PlayStation 3. The Xbox One was having issues when it first came out. The PlayStation 4 was having issues. So it's always best wait. To, to wait on those. You may look up and get uh, a product that's good on the first day, but... You want to wait on those because uh, that way boys can, you know, if they stuff blow up, then you'll know to, oh, let's wait a couple more months. Oh, uh, drop the crawfish. Mm. Or, you know what I'm saying, what, what I usually do is wait for like the Christmas sales because you know they're going to have the Christmas deals. It's going to come with a game and a bundle. Facts. So it's best to wait when they come with like a game and a bundle because, you know, they're trying to get this Christmas sales up, so. And they know when to come out with it because they know everybody's going to be trying to get it for Christmas. Mm -hmm. That's going to be like on the top of everybody's list. I want the new PlayStation 5. I want the new Xbox. So women out there, if you have a boyfriend, 
This is what they want. Hold up, they take the skin off too? What? What are you talking about? Oh, the baked potato? Yeah. Yeah. There's no skin, bro. Bro. They they take Y'all gotta go. Y'all understand how annoying it is when you trying to get to that bottom part, but you trying not to get the peeling too. Wow. I'm in love. Yeah, they take the skin off, bro. Next time we gotta do the turkey leg cut. I'm down. It's just this time, you know, do the timing and scheduling. No. But yeah, next time, gotta do turkey leg hut. We're trying to get these 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 businesses. I think this is black owned. I'm not sure. I I want to say they're black owned. I'm not sure. I could be wrong. But because Black Lives Matter, you feel me? Well, ladies and gentlemen, the mic just almost fell. We're not editing that out. Nope. Is that good? Is that good? So, man, y'all ready for the NBA season? <laughs> Apparently, they're supposed to be coming back this month. So That's crazy. He don't care. He's in mid. Uh, I'm still tripping that they leave the skin off. <laughs> um, that shit crazy. But, nah, um, <laughs> this will be happening behind the scenes. When we be editing shit out. Come on. Come on. <clears throat> Lefty loosely. Lefty loosely, righty tighty. Mm. But yeah. I don't know. I'm not so excited about the NBA season. I feel like they should just wait till next season. I'm kind of over it this season. So let me know what you guys think. If y'all think they should come back. I just feel like we've been doing... This we've got we've made it this far without it. We really don't need it going further. So I just feel like just go ahead and wait. Let the players rest up. Just call this season. Just take give this season a L <laughs> for this year. Yeah. And then just come back next season. Like full fledged. Like the NFL. Even though we know they don't start until pre pre games um preseason. Yeah, so Nah, I get it. I mean, to be honest with you, well to, to be honest with you, uh It is what it is. It's it's not like a oh no. I mean, we gotta have the NBA back. It's like You're over it at this point. Yeah, it's wow. it's been like I don't know how many months we've you know we haven't had it. So it's it's kind of indifferent for me personally. I know people are excited that it's coming back, but for me personally, I'm just like ah. Eh, they come back cool. If they don't, Whatever. that's cool too. So I can live without it. Facts. I'm a man without it. Facts. But um. Yeah. This is good as fuck. It is. It's, it's killing me. So. With my conversation. Did you hear about Starbucks? I said Starbucks. Starbucks. Is it Starbucks? Yeah, Starbucks. They backpedaled. So initially. Don't th- wear anything that says Black Lives Matter. Now it's like. You can wear something that says Black Lives Matter. There we go. <laughs> they backpedaled real quick. I'm they, like. They know on, what's y'all. up. Come, come on, bro. Come on, bro. Nah, Come it's on. not. Nah, it's not the time. Nah, bro. To mess with us, bro. Nah, it's, we it's, tired. It's we not. done. So, and I would like to say, I want to thank everybody from other races that participated in the protest. Super facts. And um, made their voice be heard, man. Because it's it's so crazy to see other people of other races actually stand with us on the issues we've been fighting. From for I don't know how many years, right? You know what I'm saying, and it's not just something, just not just something that's being overlooked. So I just want to say, anyone that's marched, protested, or stood with the Black Lives Matter movement and understand what it is, and not one of those all lives matter. Yeah, one of those in one of those clowns. Like we get it, all lives do matter, but it seems like Black Lives tend to not matter when it comes to just a lot of things so the fact that people are actually seeing this and speaking up against it from other races and other communities we appreciate that no facts that, mm-hmm. i love seeing that that's I mean, important man and it's important for other people to see the injustices that are you know happening against people of color and i hate that it was a situation that happened with george floyd 
Breonna Taylor, Ahmaud Aubrey, like you just see how much they're just lynching us and murdering us. And it's like, nothing's being done. You know what I'm saying? So we are happy. Oh no, I gotta blast somebody. Keep And we also appreciate the um excuse me, uh the cops that joined the Mm -hmm. podcast last episode to give their piece on how they feel about it. One of them being Ross's dad, um, Mm -hmm. and a very good friend of ours named uh, Officer Pinson. So Mm -hmm. they 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 took the time out their day to join our podcast. If you haven't checked it, go check it out. It's a really good educational dope uh, it's a dope conversation And we let them Kind of have the floor A uh, majority of the podcast To just say how they feel And it was really dope To me I really enjoyed it One of my favorite podcasts To this day Alright I'm about to get into My rant bag I don't know if you heard About this woman Your called Your Durant bag Oh um, You stupid See what I did there You dumb Is that a burner account You're definitely dumb okay. <laughs> You know uh, I think she's a politician Candace Owens oh. You heard about her We know about Candace Owens bro Yeah The Bas- smartest The smartest Dumbest Yeah I'm gonna be honest with you. She's not an Uncle Tom. She is beyond that. She's she, an aunt. She's an Aunt Karen. You know what? That's exactly what she is. She is a Aunt Karen. The reason why I say that is she's basically don't steal my shit. Basically going around saying, "Oh well, George Floyd, he wasn't a good man." All this other stuff, pulling up his rap sheet, and that's that's neither here nor there. Whatever he did in the past, it, whether it's good or bad. That's neither here nor there. The fact that he died the way he died was made him the hero. It, it it was inexcusable, and for someone to try to throw that like, oh, he's not, you know, a uh, a good uh, a good man, so you guys shouldn't be, you know, putting him up on that that pedestal of uh, trying to. Y'all shouldn't be like getting all rowdy and then, you know, now wanting to promote Black Lives Matter because of because of who he is. No. At the end of the day, if you can sit there and say that was cool with you, what happened to him for eight plus minutes, then you're part of the problem. And it pisses me off when you see people of our our color just sit up there and say, well, you know, black people are part of the problem. Black on black crime. Well, y'all, y'all don't say nothing about that. And it's like, hold on, time out, time out, time out. Statistically, more, the race, more people within that same race kill their same race. So when, you in the there's white on white crime. Mm-hmm. There's black on black crime. There's Hispanic on Hispanic crime. When it comes to crime rates, statistically, it's going to be within your same race. So yeah. I don't want to hear that BS, bro. I hate people that sit up there and try to point out the flaws of black people but yet they're not pointing out the solutions what are you doing it's like you justifying the means like the cop and for what happened or you're trying to take away or make light of the situation it doesn't matter who the guy is yeah i mean does it really matter i mean to be honest no tamir rice was a kid playing with a bb gun yeah does it really matter what did tamir rice do huh was he a juvenile kid? Was he this and this and that? I mean, it doesn't matter. You can comply with officers and you can still get your life taken. And we've all had our run in with the cops. Mm-hmm. Just like he was talking about that time with you on the podcast. Again, y'all got to watch the podcast. Um, Ross make a good point about something he had that happened to him. And I remember just getting, uh, having to wait on my homeboy getting pulled over um, for something meaningless. And it was like three, four cops pulling up on him. And it's just, it's just, it's pointless. You know what I'm saying? Like we've been in these situations. So to be black in America, it's like a dangerous thing. Especially, you know, nowadays when people are, you know, everybody's trying to make light of shit and stuff like that. Nah, let us come together. You know what I'm saying? Like we, we do get on our own community for killing each other for senseless stuff like gangs Mm -hmm. and shit like that. Like we, trust me, we get on our own ass more than anybody. Like, if you're gonna ridicule, come up with a solution. Yeah. If not, shut the fuck up. So, part of my friends. Yeah. I just don't like that, bro. Be free, my guy. Cause that that's trash to me, bro. A man lost his life. You feel it me? doesn't matter what he did in the past. If he did some messed up stuff, get it. Cool. Nobody's perfect. Whatever. But it, he only didn't God deserve to judge. go out like that. Yeah. Only I God can judge. He did not deserve to go out like that. And if you agree with it, if you don't. If you can't even empathize with that just on a human being level, then you're scum. And she's scum. 
in my opinion, bro. She's toxic as hell, and she's part of the problem, not the solution. So those are the people that I, I feel like should go to, like, another planet. Like, <laughs> yeah, just take all the races, like that dude that's... He said he's leaving NASCAR because they're now trying to get rid of the Confederate flag, which is awesome to NASCAR. Bye, brother. I'm like, bro, you ain't win no races. Nobody even know your name. Get the hell up out of here. First of all, I don't even watch NASCAR. <laughs> yeah, get your ass, get get the hell up out of here, bro. The only person I know is what? What's his name? Jeff Gordon? Yeah, Jeff Gordon. I know uh, uh, Dale, Ar- Dale Arnhart Jr., his son. Yeah. Yeah, and then, you There's know. only a few people I know yeah, anyway. Yeah, I... Danica Patrick. Danica Patrick, yeah. of course. Yeah, but that's it. Like yeah, at the I end, said Dolly at first. But, um, but at yeah. the end of the day, bro, you ain't, nobody even know who you are. You, don't, you ain't got no wins to your name. <clears throat> Fuck up out of here. Go. People like that. You're a random like, boy. People like racist and, you know, people that, that's cool with that. Just send them to a whole nother planet, bro. Just send them to Mars and let them, and I'll bet you they'll find a way to be racist to each other. I bet money. I bet you money they will find a way to classify each other because they all hate a particular race or whatever and they'll still find a way to hate each other but let them do that on another planet bro they'll do rich against poor yeah which they do here as well yeah yeah let them go on another planet if i don't if you if you're still a racist individual bro there's something wrong with you dog i'm just keeping a butt something is really if you can't like somebody because they skin color bro something wrong with you bro. you know what was crazy what? Why don't people Why they not racist against dogs Hear me out I'm just saying Facts. Don't they love all kinds of dogs True No matter dogs black Dogs come in different colors right Black, white, brown, brown Doesn't matter But y'all love the hell out of some dogs white people mm-hmm. So why don't everybody just Be racist against dogs Nah bro your dog black You can't come to my park what nigga sick sick him <laughs> get his out. ass get his ass i'm just making a point because white people love them some dogs mm-hmm. and they'll have a black dog with a beauty they'll say the, look at the coat it's so beautiful it's like that's the same way like not saying we're dogs but yeah you gotta think about it you treat an animal better than you treat a human being that's you're a more, problem you're more compassionate about an animal uh i mean even though that video with that karen lady uh, getting at that dude when he was recording her, people was more concerned about the dog choking, which I was too. I was like, "Damn, you choking the hell out that dog!" Yeah, because that nigga. Were- <laughs> but nobody was, you know, thinking about the fact that she talked about calling the police and saying that you're assaulting me. And she got because in trouble for you that know too. That's a weapon. You know that's a weapon. You know that's a threat you can use. You feel me? I'm glad she got in trouble for that shit too. Excuse me. I know. Like she a piece of shit too. I don't care. Anybody who does shit like that. I think like, they're trying on. to make it a law too. If you falsify uh, calling the cops, to to jail. you should be. I think they're trying to make that as law. And it's crazy. This whole situation has changed things that should have been changed a long time ago. NYPD, they can't. They're not allowed to choke anyone at any point. You're not allowed to choke them. That should have been a thing. Like uh, if you guys seen the podcast, my dad talked about his department. They're super strict. You can't do nothing like that. They been they been couldn't do like you can't apprehend somebody using you know in their throat area like you can't like they they're very strict so if you do anything you don't comply it falls on you mm-hmm. and that's how it should be man if you if you're gonna be upholding the law you're gonna protect and serve then you gotta know what you can and what you can do and it should always be a situation at some point to try to take someone in alive rather than dead your gun should be your last option if you have to use it to protect others around you or to protect yourself but at the end of the day it should be your very very last option and just like officer pence said he said excuse me he hope he never has to use his gun and that's good because he's new that's good he's hoping he never has to use it versus people coming in like oh yeah man we ready man let's do yeah. this you know what i'm saying like people that's just ready to go out it's not john wick bro blazing. there's these lives they matter you know what i'm saying whether they're they're criminals or not it's still a life yeah exactly if, if y'all can sit up there and let a dude that goes to a church pray with people and massacre them live why you can't let somebody at a routine traffic stop or somebody that quote unquote had a 20 dollar counterfeit bill live I'm just trying to figure that out. Because I, I I would think 
You know what I'm saying? You would be real quick to shoot someone that literally killed some people he prayed with in a church. Mm-hmm. I don't think y'all understand how sick that is. That's that's a different level of sickness, bro. S- there's something wrong with you mentally where yeah. you can go to a church, pray with the people before you. You know you're going to ki- kill somebody and you pray with them, that's some but you stuff, can, they can leave not a single <laughs> wound. But a dude at a routine traffic stop trying to show you that he has a license to carry gets killed in front of his family. And what's crazy is that the family of the church members went to tell him that they forgive him. And that's and that's big. That's that's really that's big. Huge, that man. that takes a lot of uh dedication to your faith because it's it's hard to want to forgive someone for doing such a heinous act. You know what I'm saying? So I just want, I know we're not trying to make this a preachy mukbang, but. It is one. Oh but well. f- for those that rock with us, preachy if you support In the Clutch and, and what we're all about, man, we all about trying to promote positivity and love and, and laughter and enjoyment. So if that's what you are a, bar, a, a part of and you rock with what we rock with, then we good. If you support the nonsense that goes on in this country, we don't need you. Simple yeah. as that. That's I not. Hope, I hope we don't have nobody supporting us. No, nah, no, nah, we don't. We don't support shit like that. We don't have time for it, man. It, it's life is too short. There's a lot of crazy things going on just within 2020 alone. So we all gotta right. stick together and and just as people, not as a, a separate race, just as people, bro. Just try to come together, bro, and, and make things a little bit easier on each other, man. And the one way to do that is to just slowly but surely get rid of this thought of. Oh well, your skin is this, so I'm better than you. Get yeah. rid of that. If we can get rid of that, things can get better, bro. We're one step forward. Yeah. To going in the right direction. Yeah. So. So yeah, nah, um, nah, that's facts, bro. All facts. And if you haven't go watch the Dave Chappelle uh, comedy special or whatever you want to call it. Yeah, um, it was like a little little special. Yeah, it was it was dope, man, and it was more real, less comedy. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Like he's speaking, he's picking some real um, stuff for real, and you know people gotta realize, wake up. It's it's, it's no time to be hating each other for stuff, <clears throat> crazy things. Again, like Ross was saying, life is short. You can't hate somebody just because of their skin color. Doesn't make. Sense. I mean, you can, but you're a dumbass if you do. But I'm just saying, like, you can't hate somebody just because they have a different background than you. I mean. I try not to judge people, and I'm I'm working on myself more and more every day to not judge people because you don't know what somebody background is or why you don't they, know what the fuck I've been through. <laughs> right, but I know something about you. You didn't go Cranbrook. to Cranbrook. <laughs> that's a private school. It was a public school. <laughs> Who? I, that's you know what races are motherfuckers that went to Cranbrook, and their parents got a real good marriage, and their name started with Clarence, yeah, or Karen, <laughs> or Tom. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we want. We want niggas, all the racist motherfuckers. They they was in the uh, free world. Three one three. <laughs> all of them. All of them. I did three two three. <laughs> but our facts though, man. Like it's all about um, spreading love for sure, positivity for sure. Um, getting along, learning. You know, always learning, having an open mind, um, getting outside of your comfort zone. Mm-hmm. That's what you know. That's what life is really kind of about. Yeah, think about it, man. Just learn how to love each other, bro. Please. Bro. And you can't be slinging a Bible around in front of a, a church if you don't really believe in equality and treat mm-hmm. everybody the same. Y'all and even know who if I'm you talking don't, about. y'all know who I'm talking about. Even if you don't believe in God or whatnot, you should still want you know. You should still have that type of a level of respect for just a human being yeah. at a, at your core. You know what I'm saying? So that's all, man. It's just a, a little quick mukbang to enlighten you guys. Rap mukbang. On Let's just, get it off our chest, mukbang. Yeah, get it off our chest. Not to be politically correct. But to be politically correct. <laughs> but I hope you guys enjoyed that. Trump, we're going to be you. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed that, man. I can, I couldn't even finish all mine. I probably finish my water. It's who feels too much, but I'm full. I literally was, I was starving myself. Yeah, all we said starve starve ourselves so that we can eat. Oh, as this you can good. see, this was delicioso. So, if you like this mukbang, man, give it a thumbs up. 
comment down below what you think about the things that we've talked about yeah, have you guys right. have you guys been to some protests let us know your experiences and just let us know you know how you feeling during the times that we are in right now we want to start a discussion man get your guys input so facts no super facts man because it's, it's serious discussions that we need to have mm-hmm. we're not shying away from it you feel me um Black lives do matter, and we yeah. want people to realize that. Rest in peace, George Floyd. Of course, the Breonna Taylor situation mm-hmm. as well. And Ahmaud Arbery. How that happened, Ahmaud Arbery, and so many more. The list is forever long. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. But we hope we can stop hashtagging people. Yeah, and just start getting justice and moving forward in life where nobody you have to be scared to get pulled over by law enforcement. For sure. But. We love you guys. We do. Hope you guys are staying safe out there. Please do. Stay healthy. Please do. And if you don't know something, what? Just know. What? We in the clutch, baby. Already.